G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and welcome back to Reconnecting with Your Horse During Coronavirus by, uh, presented to you by Weaver Leather. Hey, this is my uh, horse Petey. Petey's the horse I showed at the World Equestrian Games last year and uh, this is all about connection and Petey used to be, he was just a pretty solid citizen like, you know, a bit of a soldier as in, I know, as in, um, you know, he was a, a reigning horse and that was his job to be a reigning horse. And it's, it's funny the personality that's come out of him since I've really started to connect with him in the last couple of years. He's, he, uh, you know, he used to just be serious and do his job, but, but now that he, um, he's out of his shell a bit. Hey, Peter, can you give us a smile? Big smile. Big smile. Oh, very good. What a good smile he's got there. So I want to talk to you guys about the, probably not necessarily the next, hello. Probably not necessarily the next step in this thing, but something that a lot of people have commented on that has uh, popped up. And some people, their horse isn't standoffish, their horse wants to be too close and their horse kind of wants to push on you. And this whole thing is not about, this whole series is not about creating an obedient horse, it's about creating connection, right, Petey? Um, and so if your horse is too close to you, it's very easy to get them off you, but have them disconnect with you. And I see this a lot with horses that have done a lot of, uh, a lot of groundwork and stuff, had a, <laughs> hello, <laughs> had a lot of obedience stuff done. Hey, I'm trying to make a movie here. Uh, have a lot of obedience stuff done to where you can easily ask them to step back away from you. But what they tend to do is their, their ears tend to go from out here the ears tend to kind of go back and they just kind of step back and go, yes, I'll, I'll do what you say, but they lose connection with you. And so what I've found with those kind of horses is if I have the flag with me, what I'll do with that flag, I will not direct any energy towards them. It's not an actual ask. And this is the same as the, um, this is the same as creating connection through getting their attention it's not an ask you uh curiously get ask them to get their attention well in this one it's not an ask to step backwards what i'll do with this one is take my flag and create some energy with it and like lateral energy like this so i'm not directing it towards them i'll wave it like in an arc like this i might start out small but get a little bit bigger but then wave that uh this way and it creates some energy and they tend to step back away from it and look at it and that's the thing i'm looking for is that connection i don't really want to get them to do anything without having that connection um, that's with ones that want to be a bit too close and usually when they're there's, for me there's no such thing as too close it's how are they close if they're on top of you pushing around that's too close whereas if they stop and have their feet here and they reach out, they stretch out towards you, kind of like shaking hands sort of thing. I really, really like that. But uh, the other thing I've had people ask me questions about is horses that are mouthy and they, they want to come up and engage with you, but they want to want to bite you or mouth you or whatever. And something I've been doing for several years now is when horses want to put their mouth on me, you know, let's say I'm here and this horse wants to come up and put his mouth on me. As soon as his mouth comes anywhere near me, I will engage his mouth. I'll rub him around the muzzle if he wants to be rubbed around the muzzle. Um, if horses that have learned to be a little bit like this, yeah. Horses that have learned to be a little bit nippy, you've got to be careful. You've got to kind of keep your hands moving. But what you what you what I found out that those horses that that are, you know, kind of nippy at you and stuff like that, I think it's more of a, hey, hey. Pay attention, over here. Does that make sense there? They, they tend, I think they actually want to engage with you. So when they want to engage with you, just engage with them and rub your hands around their muzzle. Petey's not nippy at all. And you can see when I go to engage his muzzle, he kind of wants to take it away a little bit. So he, he's not the sort of horse I would rub his muzzle. I would just let him sniff me, let him engage me, let him say hello, give him a little scratching if he wants that. But I probably wouldn't do the muzzle rubbing for Petey because Petey's not trying to nip me. He's just, he's just learning. Yeah, and you're showing him your really good smile again. He's just, uh, you know, he's just kind of learning how to engage with people anyway. But the ones that want to bite, I, I tell you what, we had a, a horse here that my wife bought a few years ago and he was a nippy sort of a horse. And I used to think nippy horses were actually trying to bite me. And so I would treat it that way. 
But what I started doing with him was every time his mouth came even anywhere near me, I would just engage with him and rub on him like this. And that horse's whole personality changed when I started engaging with him when he wanted to engage with me. Instead of treating it like he's being bad, I treated it like he's trying to say hello. And I've really found that, that doing that since then, um, you know, I put a couple of videos on YouTube about that and the feedback I've had from a lot of people is, wow, that really opened my eyes because it really made me look at things differently. You know, instead of me thinking that horse is trying to be bad, trying to bite me or whatever, they're just trying, they're very social creatures and they're just trying to engage with you. So if you've got your horse, if you've tried that, say the, the first exercise, which was just sitting in their pasture doing nothing, the second exercise, which was matching steps for them and the third exercise which was actually you know uh, rewarding that change of focus and creating connection that way if you've got that happening and now your horse just wants to be too close to you you can try uh, several of these things and hopefully it will help you out so go ahead and try that with those kind of horses and uh, be sure to let me know in the comments how you actually get along